Well, hello, my fellow gamers. It's Katesy, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I am Creative Katesy, aka Katesy, and I'm so happy you guys are here. Welcome to 2023, you guys. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it's the new year already. It has just really flown by fast. Um, <clears throat> and it's also been a couple weeks since we have released anything on this channel. So I had several holidays with my family and such uh, during that time. And also my husband and I decided to celebrate our honeymoon. We got married during COVID and uh, didn't have many options as far as like where we could go to travel for our honeymoon. So we decided to delay it and finally took the time to go to Hawaii and enjoy that time and the celebration of being married. I know it's two years later, but you know, it's never too late to do something like that. But yeah, it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. The only drawback was he and I got sick. We have been sick pretty much the last three, four weeks. Uh, I am finally starting to get over it. I still have a little bit of the sick echoes or remnants or whatever you want to call it. And uh, But I'm doing a lot better. I, I did delay starting to do island tours a week because of the fact that I was still suffering from a cough, still suffering from you know, gunk in my throat. I still have the gunk in my throat, which is why you're going to probably hear me clearing my throat quite a bit, <clears throat> just like now. But the cough at least is gone. So we're good there. <laughs> but anyway, I am so happy to be back, guys. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday season. And I hope you all a wonderful 2023. But to start off, 2023, we are actually going to be touring my island, Noel. I finally got this finished. I started this right before Thanksgiving and was really pushing to try to get this done before the holiday season, but unfortunately, it just got too busy, wasn't able to commit the time that I thought I needed to do it. And um, so it was a little delayed and I finally was able to finish it, well at least finish it to the point where I'm really happy with the turnout uh, city core or town core as this island theme is, is a little bit of a challenge for me because of the fact that I'm used to doing more nature inspired islands. So things that flow a little bit differently that aren't as symmetrical or structured as what you would find in a town core. but. Noel is my Christmas town core island. I am so excited for this. Uh, first time really doing a town core, guys. I know I did a castle core a couple months ago, a couple moons ago, and um, I enjoyed that one, but I had a different vision compared to this one, and that one still had some natural elements to it, whereas this one has hardly any of them. So, I'm excited to show this to you guys. So we're gonna rewind time a little bit and prepare and pretend that it's right before Christmas <laughs> for this. Plus, I I really something about myself is that when I get done with the holiday season, I am ready to start conquering the new year. And I've noticed this in my island build as well. Like I got to a point where I was just like, all right, I'm ready to move on to the next th theme. I'm ready to move forward, do the next thing, all that fun stuff. And I just kind of lost some of my motivation with it. Oh, look, there's a balloon. <laughs> Don't worry, it's going to somebody's house for Christmas. So, <laughs> but yeah, I just kind of lost that inspiration a little bit. And so I really pushed myself to try to get it done. So that way I had something to show you guys and share with you guys. So if you want to do a Christmas Island for next year or you want to do like a Christmas in July whatever floats your guys's boat um, I hope you guys are able to pull inspiration from this I pulled a lot of inspiration from four main creators uh, first one being Nora aka horrible gaming she has a lot of amazing builds on her YouTube channel and her Instagram so definitely check her out. Peppy Crossing is another person that I would like to uh, flag as well or 
let you guys know about. She has a lot of great tutorial videos out there as well. Uh, she just, I heard she just recently toured my last island, Epra, and that video is said to release soon. I am super excited. I cannot wait to see what she has in store for that. Uh, another person I want to say inspired me is my friend Matilda. She is an amazing creator. If you guys have not checked out her Instagram, you need to. She is an incredible creator. I don't know where she comes up with half of her ideas, but whatever she does, she goes 110%. It is absolutely incredible. And then, of course, the last person that I want to uh, tell you guys about or give a shout out to is another uh, partner of mine named Andrew. His Instagram is Zuby Harmony. He has the most beautiful builds and he helped inspire some ideas that I have for my island as well. Definitely check out those uh, those people. They are absolutely incredible. I'll try to remember where I pulled inspiration for my island from. Uh, so that way, if you guys want to learn how to build this yourself, you can go check out uh the original creator for that or the person that I pulled inspire, inspiration from. I'm not sure if they're the original or not. A lot of what I've seen for uh, for their designs have, from my understanding, been all original. I don't know if they pull inspiration from anybody else. If they do, that's fantastic. If it's original, that's fantastic as well. But this area in particular, for example, I actually pulled inspiration from Nora. So she has an ice skating rink that is very, very similar to this, except hers is just a little bit bigger and it circles around the whole uh, the whole centerpiece that you see here. Mine is just kind of this small little piece here, but she had this amazing Christmas island uh, inspired by New York. I toured it right before the holidays, so you should definitely check her island out you should definitely check out that tour video and see what all is in store for that but I will try to point out like different places that inspired me and, and who inspired me for those places as well so anyway pulling it all back in we're gonna rewind time we are going to check out my island Noel it is a cr cozy Christmas town core island um, as I said it was a big challenge for me to do but I loved every step of the way of it. So will I do town core in the future? I don't know. <clears throat> it was definitely that big of a challenge where I'm like, I don't know, but I definitely want to if I find the inspiration to do it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start checking things out. The first thing we're going to do is check out the map. So I know my map doesn't share a lot here for you guys. Uh, it's very uh, structured, very symmetrical. A lot of what you'll see on the left side is going to be very similar to what you see on the right side. They mirror each other a lot. And I, I wanted to do that because of the fact that it just made sense for being a town to just kind of... I know a lot of towns, they aren't symmetrical like that, but I I, I wanted to do that for this for for once. I never had done like a symmetrical build like this and so it definitely was a challenge for me. I def I didn't use any of the in-game coding because of the fact that my vision did not include those except for a few here and there for, uh, for builds. But as far as residents go, we have Fang, we have Whitney, Coco, Eric, Flurry, Deirdre, Marlo, Genji, Shep, and Maddie. So you'll notice I have two neighborhoods that are towards the top of the island, and then I have four houses that are kind of spread out. That is because I divided my island based upon kind of like a shopping district and a neighborhood district. So the residential and the shopping area. And the lower area is all shopping area, and the neighborhood is more towards the top. So we will explore all of those. I focused a lot of the shop houses around those particular shop themes. Um, and then I did decorate my uh, other homes as well, though I didn't, I'll admit, I didn't feel like I put as much effort into them as I did 
the shops because the focus was the town portion of it more than the residential portion of it. And I'll show you what I mean when we get there, but let's go ahead and start exploring it. And you, as you guys saw, my DA was on there. I'll make sure to share that as well. Make sure that you guys are hitting that like and subscribe button so that way you can be alerted when new content is added. And then the final link that you will find in my description will actually be the link for uh, submitting your own islands for island tours. So if you want me to check them out, I love seeing your guys' islands. They are fabulous. Submit your island for an island tour. But as you can see, the skating rink is right next to the airport. I absolutely loved how that skating rink turned out, so I wanted that to be my intro compared to the usual thing that I do with the, uh, the airport. But if you come down to the airport, right out here is all these presents for you guys to open up. I want to make sure you guys are all nice and bundled up for this winter day. Uh, so there's a lot of options here for you guys to make your own outfit. So I hope you guys have fun with it. But right off of there is, like I said, the skating rink. And then if you want to get your skates, you can rent them here, put them on over here, and then skate to your heart's content. <laughs> so yeah, this was a... Uh, one of my first builds on the island. Originally, I had a different vision for my island and decided halfway through that I didn't like how that was going, so I completely scrapped it. And then I did something that I normally don't do, and that was starting from the entrance of my island, so starting from the airport and building out that way. Usually, I do the spots that inspire me the most and then go build from there. But this time I didn't. I completely did something that was outside of my usual thing and started from the entrance and worked my way backwards. It was really, really interesting and uh, definitely a concept that I'm going to have to try again in the future because of the fact that it made things a little easier when it came to building, in my opinion, anyway. So right off to the right over here, we have my little post office. So this was a fun little build that I did. Uh, props to Matilda. So Matilda has this signature thing on her island where she always has a post office. Every single island, anyone that you tour, there's going to be a post office. And I was like, you know what? Got to give a shout out to my girl on my island. And that is what this post office is. This is totally inspired by her. Uh, I knew I wanted it and I wanted to have the delivery trucks all out and about being busy delivering those last minute presents for the holiday season. So this one, this build was actually really challenging because of the fact that I just I had an, a general idea of what a, the building what I wanted the building to look like. But getting the pieces to work and flow the way that I wanted them to was a little bit of a challenge. So. And we're going to do our part and pick up, because I'll admit, I forgot to do a run around and pick up the, the down branches. So, <laughs> Also, another thing I wanted to point out here is back over here is the conveyor belt for all the packages that are getting loaded up into the truck and getting ready to be delivered out to people's homes. So I thought that was a really cute touch. <laughs> So off to the left over here. Oh, wanted to show this as well. I do have several quote quote access points to the beach, but a lot of them are closed because who goes to the beach during the winter, especially unless you're going to a tropical location, you're not going to the beach in winter. It would be too cold. And as you can see, we are definitely on a snowy winter cold island. So... <laughs> Yeah, there'd be no beaches. There are some beach access points that we can get onto, and I will show those as well. So another build that I am absolutely proud of is this one right here. It's my Starbucks, you guys. <laughs> so this is inspired by uh, Nora. I believe it was it Nora. Was it Peppy? One of those two have a Starbucks build very similar to this. I'm sorry, I cannot remember exactly who it is. Go check both of those channels out. They both have such amazing 
building builds. But anyway, one of them has this incredible Starbucks build and it's just a little bit bigger. I think it was Nora. Now that I think more about it, um, Nora has a Starbucks very similar to her to this one, but it's slightly bigger. I wanted to do more of a compact because of the fact that I wanted this to kind of be like a grab and go kind of Starbucks where it's just like a little tiny building that you go in, you get your food. There may be some seating inside, but there's not very much because it's designed specifically to just kind of be tucked in here to be cozy and so that way you can grab your Starbucks and head out as quickly as possible. So that's this one. And then of course the umbrellas on top of the little outdoor seating are set for Christmas theme with the green and the red. So we're gonna actually explore the left, no, the right side, sorry, the right side of my island first, mostly because I, the fact that I love the right side of my island a little bit more. <laughs> So up here is the residential services. Just kind of a nice little like walk, walk path that circles the skating rink. And I just love how residential services is decorated for Christmas. It's fantastic. And oh, there's Jingles. Hello, how's it going? So yes, absolutely love how residential services is decorated. And I really wanted to, make it feel kind of park-like right in this section so that way you can just kind of walk around and take a lovely stroll around residential services. Now what town would not be complete without roads? So this is the first time that I've ever officially put down roads. I know I've had pathing and I've had some, some, and I put that in air quotes, roads. Uh, but they weren't like any official like constructed roads, but this is the first time that I'm doing official roads and these are actually kind of fun to do. I'm learning that with town core builds like buildings and stuff like that take up a lot of room and so you have all these builds in there and then you have to figure out how to uh, stuff everything in between as well. So that was the fun challenging part. Also, I loved this part right here. I saw this on Pinterest once where they had the bulldozer and then the moss, the glow moss rock right here as kind of a snow pile. So I was like, yes, I am totally doing that. <laughs> so our first residential home shop is actually Deirdre. She owns a little flower shop that is totally getting ready for the holiday season, has a whole bunch of flowers that are just waiting for people to take home like poinsettias and any other traditional holiday plants and flowers. Also wanted to point out that this build was a huge challenge to make for me because of the fact that I had already done a couple other builds and I didn't want to do the same type of build for every single one. I wanted each building to be slightly different. So that way there was kind of this customization to each of them. So the parts that are the same are more the neighborhoods, but the, the shops and stuff I wanted to make them slightly different based upon their theme. Now, one of the beaches that we have open is this one right here, it's a private beach for Deirdre. It's where she comes down and grows all of her flowers. So you can see she's got a bunch of flowers that are ready to be picked and put into different types of assortments and arrangements. So a lot of options here. And then of course her little, little garden shed right here. So that way she can work. So let's go ahead, we're gonna go in here, we're going to check out Deirdre's home. So, welcome to Deirdre's home, aka the little flower shop. I saw this adorable picture on 
in, uh, was it Inst? No, Pinterest. Sorry, Pinterest. I get a lot of my inspiration off of Pinterest, just as an FYI, guys. But I saw this cute little flower shop on Pinterest, and I'm like, yes, I need to do something very similar to that. Now, obviously, the one that was on Pinterest was more of a vacation home. So it gave the option to make the room bigger. Whereas in uh, on your island, you don't have that option. So I really had to crunch everything down. I, I did try to make everything accessible. I know that there are some scrunchy places here. So that way she can get back behind the counter, things like that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make this kind of like her flower arrangement. And it, it also... I also pulled inspiration from a flower shop that was in my hometown too. So there was a there was a flower shop that had kind of a very similar feeling where they had the back portion of it where you did the arrangements, you worked on stuff, etc. And then you had all of the plants kind of out that were ready to be sold. And that's kind of the idea and the envision that I had for this this little flower shop. Let's go ahead and say hello. Uh, had a good meal? Yes, every day. Well, I try to. <laughs> She's such a cutie. But yeah, this is Deirdre's home. I, got, I hope you guys find inspiration. All right, let's keep exploring, you guys. So I did make a little parking lot for her so that way people who needed to pick up their order, their flower orders, she's like crazy busy on Valentine's Day, just letting you guys know. So if you want your Valentine's Day order, you might want to get ahead. <laughs> okay, so the next home up here actually belongs to Eric. I know he's not home right now, so we will tra time travel to a a time that he's actually home but his home is more of a Christmas themed home so he sells holiday decor so as you can see we got the outdoor ornaments all available outside but on the inside we've got a little Christmas surprise for you guys so let's go ahead and time travel to when he's available So as the outside is decorated for Christmas, the inside is definitely decorated as well. This is actually geared more towards coming and sitting on Santa's lap. That's really what inspired me. I, uh, When I was a little kid, our um, town, well, it's still actually kind of keep, it's still kind of uh, going on even to this day. We have what is called Christmas on Main. And in one of our parks, just off of Main Street in our town, there is a little shed where you can go and sit on Santa's lap. That is really the inspiration behind Eric's home, where you have the outside decorations, but then you come inside and you uh, can purchase a ticket to sit down on Santa's lap. And that's kind of what I have inspired here. Obviously, Santa isn't here right now, but one of his trusty elves slash reindeer is here. Eric is definitely here to uh, make sure things are opened up and to let people know that uh, Santa will be coming back for them to tell him his their last minute Christmas list ideas. So that was really the inspiration behind Eric's home. I hope you guys like it. Okay, so we have Deirdre and Eric down for villagers. Now, as you can notice, like I kept everything kind of open on here. I know that if you go check out a lot of other uh, town core, there's a lot of, a lot more items out and about. Um, I had a hard time with that, just because of the fact that I am a person that likes to have access to every part of the island. 
So that's going to be a challenge for me. And that's something that I'm going to push myself for 2023 is uh, do more about the aesthetic and less about the accessibility. And so that's my goal for um, 2023. If I don't have access to something, that's okay. I don't need to necessarily have access to everything every single time, especially when it comes to the final tour. I don't need to have that access. Now, if I need, if I block off, say, the museum a little bit, that's okay. I'll, I'll still need to get to it, obviously, but like if it comes to a point where I still need to block it off, no problem. I think I, I have an idea for the next island that I do, and I'm not going to spoil it. Not going to spoil it, guys. It does still stick with like a wintry theme, but uh, I'm not going to share what it is because I want it to be a total surprise, and it's going to be something that I'm going to be working on in secret until we get to the next theme which is my gonna be my hobbiton inspired island and then that one i'm hoping to start doing live streaming for so just to kind of give you an idea of what's happening in 2023 but this is my museum you guys i pulled inspiration from my own castle core where i hid a lot of the i the, um, the buildings to make them kind of fit more with the theme and uh, did that with us as well. I also put some moving vehicles in front to showcase that, you know, maybe a new exhibit is coming in. You know, it is the holidays. Things are starting to wrap up for that holiday season. So maybe they're going to have a huge event for New Year's. You never know. You're just going to have to come check it out. We have another access point right here to the beach, which we have closed for the season. If it'd be open up, there'd be a lot more items out there. <laughs> it's actually a really easy way. So if you guys don't want to um, decorate your beaches, close it off like this. Like I really was not motivated to decorate my beaches. I will admit to that 100%. Um, especially because of the fact that I'm doing a winter themed island but it worked out perfectly because then I could block it off just like this and say that it was closed for the season if you don't want to decorate your island or your um, beaches that's fine guys but you can do something fun with your island to block it off and say oh it's closed for construction or high tide or even say there's a lot of sharks so the beach is closed so you could do stuff like that. That Those are options. So now we've kind of transitioned to more of the residential side of the island. So as I mentioned before, the lower portion of the island or the main level of the island is all of the um, uh, shops and things like that. Now we are getting to more of the residential side. So originally my idea for the residential side was to have all of the homes on the left and the right side of the island and then have the road kind of go by as if they're their own little like driveways and stuff. I ended up scrapping that idea and went for this where you have the road here but then you have like parking for the residents that are back behind there and then uh, back across the channel is the residential walkway so this kind of separates the residential area kind of gives them a little bit of separation from all the, the traffic sound a little bit because that's one thing that drives me nuts is traffic sound oh it drives me nuts and I live in, in a city so yeah <laughs> but the nice thing is like we're kind of tucked in where we don't get a lot of traffic so that's kind of nice but um, all of the homes in this neighborhood are the same I did uh, see a picture on Pinterest and I was like I want to do that so bad on my island and I thought it would be so cute to do for the Christmas themed so that's why you're seeing it as it is um, all of the homes are designed the same way except for the doors so you'll notice that they're all the same style they're all the same brick pattern uh, the doors are what indicate which villager we're going to. So right here we have a white door for Whitney. We have a gray door for Fang. 
And then we have this brown door for Maddie. So let's go ahead and check out Maddie's home real quick. So here is Maddie's house. Um, as I mentioned before, my biggest focus was on the shops of the island itself, more so than the residential homes. So I knew I wanted to do a little something for each of the residential homes because I will admit, Nook likes to pull your uh, your money. And to me, 9,000 bells to just do the exterior. I was like, no, I'm going to do the interior too. So that's why you're seeing uh, the revamping of the interior. And I wanted to do something different for each villager too, to kind of give them their own uh, little taste on their house as well. So with Maddie, I wanted to kind of give her her own little cozy sanctuary here. Wanted to keep it bright because she seems like such a bright villager. Uh, bright personality, just fun, happy all the time. So that's kind of what I was going for. I was pretty flex on everything. So that is Maddie's house. Now I didn't really do much in terms of villager yards, so you'll see there's a lot of open space back there between the houses and stuff. And partly because of the fact that typically in winter, especially if you experience snow like I do, you don't have a lot of things out. Like we pulled all of our patio furniture inside, we pulled all of our outdoor activity items inside, so that way they're not out when the snow comes. And so I did the same exact thing here with this island. Let's go ahead and check out Fang's house now. So here is Fang's home. With him, I was kind of thinking more of like a bachelor pad, a place that he just kind of takes care of. I, I considered Fang to be more of an older uh, an older villager, so not necessarily in his, like, 20s, but more so in his, like, 40s, 50s kind of thing, where he takes great pride in his home, so he takes care of it, he cleans it. I'm not saying that most bachelors don't do that or anything like that, but it's like, um, he just kind of keeps it very minimal, like, he seems like a very minimalistic individual or is that is that the style minimalistic I don't remember there's like a, a house decorating style that is very minimal decorating kind of thing and that's kind of the thought process that I had with him so let's go ahead and say hello <laughs> I always feel weird about going to a villager home and not saying anything. So that's why you are seeing me do that. All right, and last but not least on this villager block is Whitney. Let's go and check out her home. So here is Whitney's home. Oh my goodness, she's working out. That's so cute. Uh, I kind of wanted to give her this kind of like log cabin -y feel because when I looked at her house before, I was just like, oh, I kind of want to give her this cozy winter feel type style. I wanted her to have, um, you know, the fireplace over there or the little stove fireplace thingy whatever you want to call that <laughs> and uh just kind of give her that like I said log cabin -y feel for it so that's what really inspired her home again very very simple design a uh, very very simple feel to it <laughs> So that's Whitney's home. Okay, so that's neighborhood number one. 
Obviously, Whitney needs to come out and get her package. <laughs> Make sure it's available uh, in time for Christmas. One thing that I originally was going to do was try to decorate each of the homes for Christmas to make it have more of a Christmas feel to it. Um, I realized that the Christmas decorations take up a lot of space. And I didn't have access to a lot of them. I was trying to uh, turn this island around really quickly. So I didn't have a lot of those items available. I didn't have a lot of those uh, DIYs available. So I kind of went more with what I had available and I decided to match more of the personalities of the villagers more so than uh, the holiday season. So, because I, I mean, the island itself is very Christmassy and uh, that's where the Christmassy focus is what I'm going for. But anyway, so down here is residential services just to kind of give you guys your bearings. And right up here is Abel's Sisters. So obviously we are touring this later at night, so it's closed. But for Abel's Sisters, I wanted it to be very simple. Plus, when I was trying to do this island build, it was I was trying to make it symmetrical and realize that in order to do that, I needed to do a little more give and take as far as um, where my room was for things went and I noticed that for Able Sisters I had a little less room to work with. Um, so for that I wanted her to ha have this build be a little more simple, kind of be like a mom and pop type store, which it technically is, although it's not mom and pop, it's a, it's a sibling store. And just kind of give it more of a humbling appearance to it. I definitely wanted to do something with it, but decided to do something different than using castle walls and towers and things like that. So that's what pulled my inspiration for Able Sisters. And it goes right into a roundabout. I am so proud of this build. So uh, Nora is known for her city core type builds and I swear, almost every single island that I've toured so far of hers, she's had a roundabout. And originally my idea was not to have a roundabout, but I was like, I need to fill the space. What better way to do that than with a little roundabout with a little like decorative plaza in the center. I thought that was such a cute idea. I saw the decorative plaza on Pinterest somewhere. And then I also saw this, um, this kind of walkway behind residential services because obviously there's not a lot of options as far as decorating behind residential services because the building is just so big. And so I was like, okay, I need to fill the space until you can actually see what's going on. And that's where I came up with this idea of having this walkway around residential services and kind of turning it into more of like a park area. So that then led into my roundabout, which if you want inspiration on how to, or if you want a tutorial on how to make roundabouts, I know Nora has a lot of tutorials on how she lays her uh, roads down and what her structure is and how her process is. Uh, I know she has one where she's done a roundabout before. So definitely, definitely check out her page like I said, Horrible Gaming, and she has those available for you guys to watch. Okay, so just to the left of that roundabout is Nook's Cranny. So as you can see, I had a little bit more space to work with on this side, as I mentioned, trying to make things symmetrical. I also wanted to um, hide Nook's Cranny a little bit more because the colors on Nook's Cranny were just so bold. And I wanted to tone it down, give it more of a humbling feeling because the city is more about um, the coziness and not as much of a modern look, but more of a an older feel. And so that's kind of what I was going for here. And I knew I wanted the uh, upgraded Nook's Cranny because I wanted Nook's Cranny for uh, the viewing 
that you're seeing here. I wanted the sign, which you don't really have a very good view of that with the, oh, what is it? The, um, like the wood shack nook's cranny. So that's kind of what I was going with there. So kind of backtracking a little bit, there is this path off of the, or this little road off of the uh, roundabout. There we go. Blanked on that for a second. <laughs> and this actually leads to the residential house. So my house. Uh, this was such a fun build to do. I had a lot of fun doing this. Again, another little roundabout kind of setup here. It's more of like a round driveway kind of thing. Um, we got the car out front ready to pick me up. But this was an interesting build because it's like I did this and then I probably redid this area maybe like three or four different times before I was actually happy with it. Um, there's just a lot of different options that I could have done with this and I was also trying to see the best ways to making this all fit and I realized that again builds take up a lot of space when you're doing buildings and stuff so I knew for a fact that I wanted to do this style of mansion I've actually had an image of that I had saved on Pinterest. I do not know the creator. All I have is the image on Pinterest. And I have had that saved for a really long time and I've been looking for an opportunity to create that on my island. Now the difference between that image and mine is that the Pinterest one is a little bit bigger of a build so it expands the manor just a little bit more than what I have here. I wanted to keep it more compact because of the fact that I didn't have as much room to work with. Because when I originally made this, I had already constructed the two new neighborhoods. So the neighborhoods already took up a lot of space as you guys saw from the first neighborhood that we just uh, visited. And then the neighborhood on the left side is a mirror image of that. Um, so I had this like narrow area to work with, small narrow area to work with for my manor. But I wanted it to kind of make it feel like it's like, oh, this is the mayor's house kind of thing. This is the, the fancy part of, of the, uh, the island. And so that's what I was going for here. And uh, so yeah, I had to really learn to compact everything and get it all squeezed in there. It was kind of interesting. So I will go in and show you some of the rooms of my house. Um, not all of them are fully decorated. I, I'll admit I did lose some inspiration. Usually I do my residential home last and I just kind of lost inspiration for my house towards the end of it. I just, I was ready to share with you guys what I have done for this island. So. I will explain my thought process and my ideas for each of the rooms um, just to kind of give you an idea and I'll show you what I've done. Uh, so like for example this was supposed to be like the main greeting area and I actually pulled a little inspiration from my friend Andrew. He had this amazing, I was originally going to turn this into a hallway because Andrew created this beautiful build beautiful build of a hallway in his house and I was just floored by it like it was absolutely incredible the idea that you could just block off part of the house never would have thought of doing that and so because of that that's originally what I was going to do was block this off and then have the back room be something different and have a portal into there well I ended up scrapping that idea because of the fact that um, I had just kind of run out of time. I had run out of inspiration and motivation to do that. So instead, I blocked off the two side rooms. Uh, the left one was going to be a bathroom. Uh, the right one, I hadn't fully decided what I wanted to do yet. But the bathroom was going to be more of an elegant style bathroom. So 
the whole theme and design of this was supposed to be more for the main level to be more of like the visitor area of the house so like you come in you check it out it's um where people would come for like parties or they would come in if they were visiting the house whatever the circumstances may be it would be more for the public viewing um straight back is going to be my dining room now again I started doing this and then just really ran out of uh, motivation for this. But it's just, again, wanted to share this with you guys. Now, if you run into the same issue as I did, do not feel bad, guys. I mean, if you lose inspiration for a room or you lose inspiration for your house or whatever the case may be, that's okay, guys. It happens. You just, you just, it, it's, it's okay. I mean, it, it really is okay. I... I'm still proud about what I have accomplished on this island beyond belief because of the fact that, that I had never done something like this before and I'm super proud with how it turned out. It may have not gotten to the level that I really wanted it to be, but I'm still really proud of it. And uh, I show you guys this that so that way you feel comfortable sharing your guys' islands out there for other people because you never know when you're going to inspire other people. And... I don't want you guys to feel that your islands aren't good enough or, or not worth sharing. Everybody's islands are worth sharing. I promise you that. Uh, downstairs was supposed to be a kitchen. It was going to be modeled off of a kitchen that I saw on one of Matilda's islands. Uh, she had this really cool idea where she had kind of created this little pantry area and then um, like off to the side and then the rest of it was just kind of a um, working kitchen. And I was going to do something similar to that, make it a little, she kind of made it feel more witchy. I was going to make it feel more elegant. Um, but again, lost that inspiration, lost that motivation. And um, I also lost the drive to go find the items that I needed. <laughs> so... So yeah, I was like I said after um I was done with the holidays, I was just ready to wrap up the holiday season. Like I just get to that point. But the one room that I'm super proud of is this one right here. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um this is supposed to be more of the private room for the residents or for this house. Um yeah, this was uh this is one of my favorite builds actually. This is one of my favorite spots on the island. It's just super super cozy and I just absolutely love it. I love how it turned out. I love the feel of it. It is such a just a cute cute cozy spot. I know. I took a picture. I realized I really needed that picture in my life. So yeah, that is my incomplete manner. <laughs> we'll just, we'll label it the incomplete manner. <laughs> or we could just say, hey, my, uh, my person moved in and hadn't had a chance to fully decorate or get furniture and everything. She like just moved into the new house and was focused on bringing Christmas to the island instead. <laughs> I love the music. Love the music right now. So we have the option of going down or going up. We're going to go up. I want to show you uh, the residential section up here. Again, it's a mirror of what we saw before, but I want to show you this and then I will conclude with some more shops that we have. So again, we have the main road here with some parking options available for the residents who live behind there. So we're going to go check out all of them. Again, we have everything divided by the canal. And then we have Shep right here. We have Flurry, And then we have Genji. And it looks like Genji is out and about. So 
welcome to Genji's house, guys. So I kind of wanted to keep with the Asian uh, inspired home for him just because of his kind of character and what he's designed after and things. Plus with his uh, original design, it was definitely more like Zen garden type feel and I wanted to keep that with him. But also make my own modifications as well. So this is what really came out of that. As you can kind of see here. I did really love this wallpaper and I never really used it in any of my builds before so that's why I did this and wanted to keep with the um, the deer scare as well. I think that's so calming but also have a place where he can sit down and have tea where he can make some of his uh, meals as well but also have a secluded area to take a nap after he's done working out so this is Genji's home guys let's go ahead I don't think I've talked to him there we go so we said hello let's keep exploring Noel we will go ahead with flurry let's go check out our house So welcome to Flurry's home. So anytime that I pulled up inspiration for Flurry and her house, it's always been white, white and blue. And so I was like, you know what? I'm not going to fight it. Let's just do it. I did a very similar build with Ione on my last island where she had very similar uh, construction of the house. I did make things a little bit different based upon the items that I used, but it was a very similar structure just because of the fact that I really did like how that house turned out. And I wanted to do something similar on this island. But I also wanted to, you know, make it very white, very blue for Flurry because that just seems to be her theme. Wherever I look, that always just seems to be her theme. Plus, she's she's super adorable, so she needs an adorable setup. And I think the setup is super adorable. So, let's go ahead and chat with her. <laughs> she's so cute. So, yeah, that's her home. I hope you guys found inspiration. Bye, sweetie. Okay, so next is Shep. Let's go check out his house. So welcome to Shep's home. So very similar to Whitney, I was thinking of something that was cozy, that was more of the uh, cabiny feel. So that's what I was looking at here. I also tried to use similar items that you found in his original home. So like the, the log bed, the bench, things like that. He had originally in his original design and so I was like oh you know instead of trying to reinvent the wheel let's just use a lot of the similar items and a lot of the similar textures and feels. I also looked up some ideas on Pinterest for him and again found a lot of like log cabiny type ideas. So for him I was like you know what I'm not gonna fight it let's just make it kind of like a log cabin interior and make it super, super cozy, which I think this is actually really cozy. Plus, he just kind of makes me think of, like, a sheepdog. Sheepdog slash, um... Sled dog. I don't know why. Just, he does. <laughs> so there's Shep's home. We are now going to head this way and transition down to the shopping area again. So first and foremost, I'm going to go off to the left over here. This is kind of like a little pier here that is decorated for the holidays. Uh, also blocking off access for swimming as well as blocking off access to the main beach area for the season. But for this area, instead of blocking this off, I decided 
why not turn this into a kind of like a little uh, docking area for, you know, boats, fish boats, whatever comes in here to deliver items to the island. And so that's kind of what inspired this little build over here. I also wanted to make it seem like it was kind of closed down so there's not a lot of items here. There's a, not a lot of things available because of the fact that technically with it being winter, there wouldn't be a lot. There wouldn't be a lot of boats out there unless they were ones that could actually handle being out in the cold water with the potential of like icebergs and stuff. So that was my thought process there. And of course, have to hit the gong. But we still have some boats here that are uh, docked because of the fact that they still need to go out at some point. Now off to the right over here, we have this little uh, area that is behind, um, that's actually Marlo's house back down there. And I just had this like little open area and I was like, you know what, let's just make this kind of like a simple little seating area that overlooked the railroad tracks. When I originally designed this island, I was thinking that I was going to have a railroad station with tracks that actually circled around the entire island. That was scrapped almost right away. <laughs> Um, I do want to do an island that has that though because of the fact that I think that would be super fun to do a um, train focused island and have that available maybe like turn it into a wild west I've seen that a couple times but that's that's something that I do want to do in the future I just need to find the inspiration for it it just didn't work here because of how much room it took for that and I just also wasn't sure how to create the train station, you know? So that's kind of where that came from. But I am get I do have some brainstorm ideas for future builds. So there is that. So coming down here, we have Marlo's little shop. So this is his bookshop. I wanted to kind of give it more of a modern look compared to the other shops that you've seen on the island so far. Uh, even though he runs kind of more of an antique book place, I wanted it to kind of be like a high-end type location where you're going to find more of your rare books that are going to be a little bit more expensive. So he could invest into more of a modern look for his home slash store. So he's not at home right now, but let's go ahead and time travel to when he is. Welcome everyone to Marlo's little antique bookshop. So again, I wanted to keep this kind of simple because of the fact that um, <clears throat> wanted to give it, sorry about that guys, <laughs> wanted to kind of give it more of a simple look, more antique -y look uh, to showcase that he sells books that are not exactly found in your everyday library. These are more rare books, more older, a lot older books that you would definitely find at more of an antique dealership. So because of that, he's able to remodel the exterior of his home to have more of a modern look, but kept more of the older style on the inside, just to kind of give it that older, antique -y and cozier feel. So, <clears throat> with that, it uh, gives you the options to buy the books. You can come sit down and read them a little bit. But yeah, this is Marlo's Little Antique Bookshop. I hope you guys liked it. So I hope you enjoyed Marlo's. He's got a little parking area down here for people if, they, if and when they come in. Obviously his bookstore is closed right now, but we traveled to a time when it was available. So again, trying to fill up the space, I decided to create a little area for fresh cut Christmas trees. Obviously these trees are decorated because, you know, it is December 24th and 
then, you know, we always have those last minute shoppers realizing, oh shoot, I need to get this, this, and this. Well, this area is dedicated to those that were like, shoot, I actually need to go get a Christmas tree. My, the in-laws are actually coming tomorrow. I wasn't sure, but hey, they're actually going to be here tomorrow, so I need to go do that. <laughs> so yeah, this is what uh, inspired this little area. Just wanted it to have a nice little place for people to go buy some Christmas trees. So we're going to cross the road here and go to one of my favorite builds on the island. I had so much fun making this little build. This is the bakery. Um, it is run by Coco and I, like I said, had so much fun making this build. It was, it was a huge challenge, but super, super fun. And I wanted it to be kind of this tan feeling, this cozy feeling. Um, and also have the display cases. I think I pulled inspiration from both Peppy and uh, Nora. Peppy because she Peppy uses a lot of the um, display, the wide display cases, and um, Nora uses a combination of both of them. But I believe that I pulled inspiration from both of those because I saw things that they had both done that I absolutely loved. I do not remember which video they came from. Uh, I do not remember which island it came from, but I just remember being truly inspired by both of them and taking both of those inspirations and combining it into one build. Uh, so if you guys have seen their islands and if you see one that looks almost similar to this, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to uh, be reminded of which one it actually was that ha was more resembled of this. But yeah, this was... A super fun build and I absolutely had fun with it and Coco has some deliveries that she needs to come out and get but in the meantime let us go check out her her little bakery Okay, so here is Coco's little bakery. Again, this was something that I had a lot of fun designing. I also added a little bit of a uh, cafe element to it. I know we have Starbucks, but she also serves different types of uh, coffees that Starbucks doesn't offer. So she offers more flavored coffees, more of your traditional coffees, whereas Starbucks is more about as my husband would call them, the frou-frou drinks. <laughs> so, um, but again, this was something that was super fun to build. She has the bread that's sitting out here. She has something that is being baked in the oven. And then of course she has this little dessert display area. Um, I don't remember where I pulled inspiration for this. I just remember having this idea in the back of my head and I was like, this needs to be Coco's home. Why does Coco need to have a bakery? Because Coco needs some more love. I know for a while people, um, it was popular opinion that Coco was creepy because of her eyes and stuff like that, but I have so much love for Coco. She is such a sweetheart. She's such a cutie. And I wanted her to be the owner of a, a little bakery area. Plus, she kind of reminds me of a little gingerbread. So <laughs> that's kind of my thought process. She looks like a little bakery treat herself. So why not have her be the bakery owner? <laughs> but yes, this is Coco's. Let's go ahead and say hello. So yes, make sure when you guys come and visit, you come in and check out Coco's home. So another access point to the beach that is closed off for the season right there. Again, very simple way to decorate it. And then I just kind of like put trees out there to indicate that, you know, there is life on the beach, but there's just not a lot due to the being it due to it being so cold out. I mean, I would not want to go to the beach in this weather. 
So down over here is going to be that Starbucks build that I showed you. And then up here is actually a cute little gas station. So very rustic gas station, more of like an in and out type gas station, less of a convenience store that you're seeing gas stations turn into. It's more of like, hey, I need to get my gas, but I, I just want a quick snack. Like I don't need to have every single option available. I just need a drink and a quick snack to get on the road again. And that's really what this is designed to be. And then of course back here, you have your gas pumps and the drive-in so that way you can come in and fill up your car with gas and then of course across over here we return to residential services so you see that everything just kind of circles around residential services being the main hub spot of this island And guys, that really concludes my island tour of Noel. I hope you guys found so much inspiration. I hope you truly enjoyed checking out my latest island creation. I would be very curious to know what inspired you on this island. What sparked some of those wonderful memories and what what just truly made you happy on my island? Leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you guys on what really gave you those happy feelings. Whether it was a mem like it something sparked a memory, something inspired you, or you just really loved how I construct an area. I would love to read those. So leave a comment down below. And if you guys want me to check out your islands, there is going to be a link in the video description below so you can submit your island for an island tour. I am continuing those on into 2023. I don't think those are going to go away anytime soon. However, one thing that I'm going to add in 2023 is live streaming. So keep an eye out for that. I'm still trying to figure out when I want to do that and how I want to do it. But uh, my plan is to do live streaming of my build for my Hobbiton inspired island. I do have one that I'm going to build between now and then, um, but I'm going to keep that one on the hush hush. It was, let me, I'll put it this way. It is a winter themed island. I will give you that. And I happened to see an area on another island that I toured that I was like, I need to do something like that. Like it sparked an idea. And I was like, I got to do that. I got to try that. I got to have fun with that. So that's what I am doing there. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get that out for you guys soon to check that out. And I'll also do some, I'll try to do some uh, teaser stuff for you guys as well. But yes, this was my island. I, guys, I hope you really enjoyed checking out Noel. Uh, make sure you guys are clicking that like and subscribe button so that way you can be notified whenever I have new content added. Guys, wherever you are in this amazing world, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I know it's past the holiday season, but I, I hope you all had a wonderful holiday season, and I hope you all have a amazing 2023. Wherever you guys are in this amazing world, have a wonderful rest of your day. Keep on being inspirational, and until next time, guys, bye-bye.